I'm going to be taking these home and doing some medium format product photography. And here's the client right here. Hello, sir. I'm going to shoot this in the Fujifilm GFX. It sounds like a commercial. These are some nice belts. The issue that he encountered, uh, his uh, other gentleman who's not working today, had uh, some issues with these uh, brass nameplates and the specular highlights showing up uh, undesirable uh, details, as you can see right here. You could see stuff. And, of course, you know, little tips and tricks, soft boxes, and watching reflections and specular highlights. And things we go over is that what you want the product to be. As far as the layout, we were actually talking about, since I can't do this one-handed, how the belts need to be laid out desirably for the client because the client's always right. And uh, when we're talking about uh, product photography, we're not talking about what you want to do unless the client gives you full reign to do what you want to do, but what they want because this is a business. And product photography is about business and making money and making things stand out. And he was actually showing me some ads, how he wanted things changed and different. And I was talking about these logos, how the actual products could be bigger since the relevancy of these names is not that important to actually capturing the person's vision of what they're trying to convey as far as what they do and who they are. And uh, I'm going to go home with these and uh, stick these inside uh, a little product photography uh, tent and... Uh, and uh, when you talk about highly reflective surfaces like this, you have to watch about the reflections and talk about how we wanted the products laid out, how we want them to look, and we want certain things to look that way. So you have to make a nice, long, detailed conversation with your client because you can go home, work your butt off, and uh, if you deliver your vision, that is your personal photography. That's not product photography. You have to have a nice, detailed delineation, description, and explanation of what you're both working on the same page because you're not working off your vision of what you want the product to look like. You're wanting the vision to be his vision because it's his product, his business, and you do what the client says because that is the secret of product photography. Yeah, well, one of the many secrets of product photography. Got it, girlfriend? Yes. Thank you so much. And this is the last genuine leather company. And uh, I'm going to show you some stuff when I get home later this weekend. Right now it hasn't rained for three weeks. I feel like I'm dead because of my allergies. And hello. Hi, <laughs> and I guess that's it. Yeah. This is for all you people that uh, think I don't actually have a job outside of uh, making videos. I actually have three jobs, and one of them is actually working photography. Thank you. Yes. Yes, I actually do photography. Thank you.